Joseph, glad you can make it. I'm Tom Gullick, human capital manager here at Ultra Magna Corp. Sorry to keep you waiting. I was going through your information, having a pretty good BM while I was at it. Incidentally, your application is almost as impressive as your resume. Nicely done. Let's take a look at your testing. According to our psych evaluation, you stole a car when you were 12. That's pretty much standard. Good math skills, serviceable typing. You ate all the pickles in time. Now that's impressive. You know what? Let's cut through all this and get down to the brass tacks. Where do you see yourself in five years? Dead. As you know, Rodham Corp prides itself on hiring applicants of diverse backgrounds and talents. Each employee here fills his own particular niche, as it were. Knowing this, what specific element would you bring to the fold? Drugs. Guns. I could have some expensive booty here in uh, 20. Maybe 25 minutes. Quality education, an inquisitive attitude, and a work ethic that is second to none. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Uh, do you already have drugs? Guns? Tell me about the last time you went above and beyond to please a client. <laughs> well, to be perfectly honest, there was this girl in Philadelphia. Before I answer, I'd just like to know how many of my references you plan to check. Double jointed. Need I say more? It's happening right now. Live it up, toots. Don't fuck with me either. This is for your own good. How many? Ah, you could spend a lifetime in the French Quarter and not live up to that one night. I wasn't really allowed near clients after the incident. You just can't find any way to be cool, can you? Ah, to be young and in love. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you were talking earlier. Something about going somewhere with a client. I mean, how's that working out? So we just cut our losses and move on to something else. I don't usually. But this is a tough room. You understand. Why did you leave your previous position? I suppose that all depends on what you've heard. Were you ever disciplined for insubordination? Suck my balls. Next question, please. Any interesting questions in that bunch? Man, you're turning this into a two-hitter. If I'd known I was going to sweat this much, I would have worn skivvies, you know? What would you say is your worst characteristic? I like him young. My pubic area runs a little high. Not young, young. I mean, well, I know the laws. Is that your son? My worst characteristic? I don't answer stupid interview questions. Need a minute to rethink your strategy? Take all the time you need. I suppose you could say I love too much. While we're on the subject, I need Wednesday afternoons off for Brazilian wax. If by love you mean snort blow. Trimming just doesn't seem to... I'm sorry, can we move on to the next question? Yes. No. Gently. Like a lover. You know, when I said no earlier, I really meant yes. Do you ever read any self-help books? You mean porn? How do you feel about data entry? I've got a good mind to slap your fat face. I've got no problem with porn if that's what you're getting at. Don't look at me like that. You asked. Is that your coffee? It's mine now. How do you feel about that? Do you like dealing with the public? <laughs> I fucking hate the public. Would I have weapons? I don't even like dealing with you. And you smell good. What do you say to working some overtime? I say, gaze into the hypnotic blackness of my evil eye. It's more of a deep gray. Whatever! All right, just one more question for you. Give me an example of your style of conflict resolution. Fuck you. Are you familiar with the defense mechanism of the turkey vulture? What the hell kind of question is that to ask a man anyway? Run straight in the crowd and start punching all the women. You think I don't know how to defuse the situation? Is that it? Because, man, you're gonna get your ass kicked. You might even die, but they, they have to go home with those women. I came into this thing with an open mind. You take away their victory. What, do you think I can't handle myself? Is that it? Do we have a problem here? Are we in conflict, Rob? Well, that's all the questions I have. Would you like to add anything? 
Did I already tell you about Philadelphia? Thanks for the coffee. Wouldn't be difficult to find out where you live. May I use your bathroom, please? I'm just saying. Even I... That was a great story, you have to admit. You a cop? <laughs> Sorry, I booted.